Hey, what's going on? Ant Still Barbecue. This is Anthony here, and today we're gonna go over how to make chicken thighs on the grill. Uh, this is a very simple recipe, very very simple process to do. Um, on the high end, it's gonna take you maybe 45 minutes. On the low end, if you cook the, if you basically had the temperature up a little higher, it's gonna take you 30 minutes. Uh, so today we're gonna go over how to set your grill up, getting your charcoals and all that together. Uh, we're also gonna go over what spices you can use. Uh, and honestly, that's completely up to you, but I'll go over that. Uh, putting the rub on the chicken, then we'll go over putting it on the grill, and finally showing you the finished product. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, you're gonna just need a few supplies. Uh, you're definitely gonna want a chimney. You're gonna also want some charcoal. You all are probably used to the briquette. Um, this right here is actually gonna be some lump charcoal. Uh, so what it is, is just basically hard wood um, that they char. I like it because it cooks a little hotter uh, and you, you use less. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our lump charcoal, we're gonna throw it in our chimney. And by the way, the chimney is to keep all your coals together uh, so that they burn hotter and get ready quicker. So you should go ahead and throw it on your grill. So we're gonna go ahead and take this bag, put it in the chimney and then throw it on the grill. All right, so we went ahead and set up our grill. So as you can see, on one side we have charcoal on the other side there isn't any charcoal and that's mainly because this is what's called a two zone fire setup the reason we do it like this is because the entire time you don't need the chicken over the flame it's gonna dry out get real tough on you obviously we don't want that so for majority of the cook we're gonna actually cook it on the indirect side so the side without the flame and that's just to get it you know cooked to a temp get it set up properly and then Closer towards the end, we're actually gonna put it directly over the flame so we can get that nice char to it. Uh, what I call like a little bit of bark and basically to make your chicken really delicious. So that's why we set the grill up this way. So that's set up, got the chimney ready to go. And now we're gonna light this guy on fire. All right, so something important to note about the chimney as that's firing up, as you can see, uh, we want that ash, we want the charcoal in there, excuse me, to basically be fairly white. So it's gonna take a minute for those coals to get really hot. Uh, we're gonna know that it's ready to go once majority of those coals are white. And at that point, it's ready to put on the additional coals that we already set up on one side of the grill. So that's gonna, that whole process is gonna take about 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, and in that process, we're gonna be preparing the meat. Uh, while you're preparing the meat, go ahead and open up these vents. So let me show you real quick. Uh, so these vents right here on the side, you're gonna open these up, and that's gonna let your flame breathe. So while that's cooking up, we're gonna go inside, prepare the meat, and go from there. All right, so now we're actually gonna prepare our seasoning for the chicken. So to start this process, I usually start off with about an eighth of a cup. I'm also getting me one of these seasoning containers. Honestly though, you don't necessarily need a container. I used the bowl for the longest and just had a lid on it and shook up the seasoning so that they spread it equally. But I'm gonna start off with this eighth of a cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half of this eighth of a cup of the salt, the onion powder, the garlic, the black pepper, and then I'm actually gonna do a whole part of this lemon pepper seasoning right here because I, I want the lemon pepper flavor to be fairly dominant. And if I use a little bit more in the overall mix, it's gonna come out more. So again, half of this eighth of a cup and then a whole eighth of a cup of the lemon pepper. And we're gonna place all of that in our seasoning container. Okay, so now we actually pulled the chicken thighs out of the packaging. And so at this point, we're ready to get them cleaned up. Uh, they usually come with some skin on it. Um, I tend to take the skin off, honestly. Uh, the texture kind of yields a little weird, at least for me. You might want to leave it on, perfectly fine, no big deal. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my skin off. I'm also gonna, once I take the skin off, I'm gonna put some olive oil on it. And that's gonna allow the rub that I just made to really adhere to the meat. Uh, and that's important versus using like some butter or something like that that's a little higher in fat. So I'm trying to make sure you all are healthy. So olive oil, real light, ready to go. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Alrighty, so we got the olive oil on the chicken. So now we're ready to put the rub on as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I got my container. We're just gonna apply a liberal amount. And we're gonna do that to both sides of the chicken. So I'm just hitting one side right now. I'm gonna flip these over, put them on the other side, and then they'll be ready to go on the grill. All right, so our, our coals have actually heated up to the point where we need it to be. And so now we're actually gonna dump this on the coals that we already put on the grill. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So you grab your handle and just spread it out on those coals. So now that's on there. So now that we dump those hot coals on the existing coals, uh, we're gonna go ahead and close the grill up and at this point we want to bring it up to temp so hopefully you got a thermometer on your grill if not you definitely want to get one because uh, it's imperative that you know what your temp is so that you don't burn your meat but we're gonna wait until that gets up to about 350 and then we can start actually putting our meat on the grill so like I said earlier go ahead and open those vents up so we got those vents wide open it's gonna let that air come in and really allow that fire to breathe uh, so that it can get hotter. All right, so we got our temp pretty much where we need it to be, about 350. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and throw our chicken on. Uh, now, what I would recommend, anytime you're putting your meat on, on the grill, go ahead and set a, a stopwatch for yourself. So for one, you know how long it's been on. And then I also recommend setting a timer too. I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes. I wanna check on them in about 15 minutes, see what they're looking like. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the meat on and go from there. So you can see we're putting the meat on now and we're going to put it on the indirect side. So we're putting it on the side where there aren't the coals so that it doesn't burn up, honestly, so that it doesn't dry out too quick on us. So we're going to throw all of that meat on the grill. And like I said, go ahead and set that timer for about... I say 15 minutes uh, and then go ahead and set your stopwatch so that you know how long the overall cook is going to be. That stopwatch is really going to help as you grill more. You're going to figure out what your sweet spot is, how long it takes you to cook and all that good stuff. So this stuff honestly comes down to a science and that's one way to control the science. So we're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes. All right. So we're about 15 minutes into this cook so far. And they're shaping up to look pretty good. At this point, we're going to go ahead and just flip them over so that that other side can get some heat. Again, we're still going to leave it on the indirect side uh, right up until probably the last 10 minutes or so. And then we're going to put it directly over the flame so that we can get that nice char to it. So we're going to go ahead and flip it and then close the lid back up and let it sit probably for another 20, 30 minutes or so and then come back to it. So after 50 minutes of the meat being on the grill, uh, the last about 15 minutes, we put it directly over the fire so it can get this nice char to it. Just take a look at that. I mean, it got a, a really good char to it. Hope your camera acts right. Got a really nice char to it. Uh, the seasoning really stuck to it. Oh my gosh. So definitely get out, hop on the grill, make some chicken thighs real easy, real simple. If you got any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Love to hear from you. Love to hear your feedback. Uh, so, yeah, Ain't Still Barbecue. See you later.